It's been no secret that my Moonrocks Revisited series received quite a lot of updates during its production. One of the reasons it took so long to get released was due to new information popping up out of the woodwork. New information that subsequently needed to be worked into my series. Unfortunately, despite my best efforts, one or two things might have slipped through the cracks. And propagandists will no doubt try to get as much mileage as they can out of it. If you recall back to episode 10, we learned that three iron silicides were found in Lunar Meteorite Dofar 280. The minerals in question are Facilocyte, Ferdesilocyte, and Hapkite. The first two are known to exist naturally on the Earth, indigenous to Russia to be exact. But other than its synthetic counterpart, Hapkite has only ever been found in this lunar meteorite, which incidentally is chemically different to the Apollo samples. The scientists who discovered these minerals in Dofar 280 believe they were created by micrometeorite impact with the lunar surface. And due to such frequent bombardment, must be quite common to the lunar soil. To my knowledge, neither Hapkite or the other two iron silicides associated with it have ever been found in any of the Apollo samples. But, it seems I missed this paper presented at the 42nd Lunar and Planetary Science Conference in March 2011. While Hapkite has still not been found in any of the 380 kilograms of Apollo lunar rock, a single grain of soil from Apollo 16 has been reported to contain Facilocyte and Ferdesilocyte, the ones that are also indigenous to Russia. Now this paperwork also mentions a third iron silicide, Fe3SI7. But guess what? That mineral is also indigenous to the Earth. Essen and Fischer, for example, explain in their paper that it is created by lightning strike fusion. So once again, no real surprises at all. Of the three iron silicides that were initially discovered in Dofar 280, the only ones that have since been discovered in an Apollo sample are the ones that are indigenous to the Earth, not the one that is exclusive to the Moon. Consider also, Anand and his lads believe these iron silicides should be found abundantly in the lunar soil due to constant micrometeoroid bombardment pulverizing the uppermost layer of bedrock to dust. And yet, out of the many, many samples of soil supposedly collected by the Apollo astronauts, two of these minerals have only been found in one single grain? Big whoop! Seriously, is that the best they can find after nine years of searching since Hapkite and its terrestrial indigenous brothers were first discovered in Dofar 280? Actually, I'm amazed that any propagandist would even bother to gloat about such a discovery in response to my video. Talk about desperation! Now if you'll excuse me, I have a video on the Drace Rock to complete. Hello, Vision is the rest of the mind's eye, mind's eye. 